What up, chaps? How's it going? Uh, I'm making this video as a response to the fucking furore that sprang up around yesterday's fucking piece of work. It's quite strange to me. It's just like um, Peter Hitchens said when he was talking about... On, he was getting interviewed by Mike Reed or whatever he's fucking called, the guy on talk radio. And he was saying how um, you can't even have a civilised debate nowadays. Uh, and you can't. For some reason, when it's involved with anything to do with, like, I don't know, health and safety, I suppose, people just lose their fucking minds. Like, completely incapable of being objective about it. Like, we're simply having a disagreement about whether or not the governments of the West, other than a few notable exceptions, are doing the right thing by utilising a quarantine and locking everybody in their houses. That's it. Nobody's saying, I hope lots of people die of a virus. Um, and yet, people are just fucking freaking out. The amount of shit I've got, both on Twitter and on Quora, um, for simply voicing this opinion that I'm very, very sceptical of the fucking way the governments have handled this and extremely sceptical about the rationale behind the quarantine. Um, as a great many people have, Peter Richards is just one of fucking dozens of well-respected journalists and academics that think it's the wrong tack to take. Uh, and people fucking go nuts. The debate's raging here in my, uh, my space on Quora. Fucking Jace having a go at me. Fuck the 3.5 million people in the city. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, Ernie Dunbar there said, um, fucking hell. For some reason, took it as a massive fucking personal affront that the pandemic reaches everyone far beyond those who get sick. Uh, America sucks now. It's not a good example for anything. And uh, enjoy your rapid descent into irrelevance. <laughs> Which is funny, yeah, because he's fucking cheering on for the Chinese. The Chinese, who have been slaughtering Muslims, farming organs, butchering the citizenry, lying authoritarian dictators that run over kids with tanks. And uh, apparently this guy, Ernie, he took what I said so offensively that he wants to defend them and talk shit about the Americans. Weird. And he's a fucking Canadian. There was a good reference from Paul Buxton there, though, that said uh, the Oxford Centre for Evidence-Based Medicine said that... Um, Taking into account historical experience, trends in data, and increased number of infections, potential impact of misclassification of deaths gives a presumed estimate for the COVID-19 infection fatality rate as somewhere between 0.1 and 0.36%, which is exactly what I said. He said they are a bit less sweary, though. The fucking pansies. So he also checked their Imperial College report, which is the one that seems to have informed UK government policy. And uh, their estimate of 510,000 fatalities, if we did nothing, would be a serious overestimate. No shit. Like, again, what have I been saying? 95% of those that have died have had numerous other health issues. So if you're totally fucked and you weigh eight stone and you've been battling bowel cancer for two years and then you die when you happen to get coronavirus, you didn't get fucking killed by coronavirus. Like seriously, if we introduced like a rule, like you can only say they died of coronavirus if they were healthy before they had it. I don't know what the numbers would be, but they'd probably be fucking hell in three figures. So yeah, the battle's fucking raging. I find it interesting. Um, I did want to point at this. One of my followers on YouTube sent me this. It's the Swiss Propaganda Research uh, SPR was founded in 2016 as an independent non-profit research group investigating geopolitical propaganda in Swiss and international media. SPR is run by independent academics and receives no external funding. I've had a look into them. They seem a decent organisation with a lot of different new voices writing for them um, being featured in all over the place and they don't only talk about this issue. They seem to be ac broadly across the political spectrum. And what fascinated me about it was this. They have a facts page specifically about COVID-19. Plenty of languages, re frequently updated, and everything has a citation. Just look at some of these fucking facts leading on from what I said yesterday. According to data from the best studied countries such as South Korea, Iceland, Germany, and Denmark, the overall lethality of COVID-19 is between 0.1% and 0.4%, and thus up to 20 times lower than initially assumed by the WHO. The WHO. And who does the who work for? Fucking China. That's who. This fucker. A study in Nature Medicine came to a similar conclusion. Even for the Chinese city of Wuhan. 
The initial significantly higher values for Wuhan were obtained because many people with only mild or no symptoms were not recorded. Obviously, fucking loads of people who've had it who haven't been recorded. So it's 50 to 80% of test positive individuals remain symptom free. 50 to 80%. This is an article on BMJ, a global healthcare provider. They're not the fucking Illuminati, are they? There you go. Four-fifths of cases may be asymptomatic. I mean, just think of that. Even if that's the metrics are weighted to support my initial conclusions, what if it's only two-fifths or one-fifth? Well, therefore, fucking the, fig the initial figures, these figures, are definitely, definitely wrong. Like I fucking said yesterday, 2.6 million cases. Bullshit, Mr. Handman. Bullshit, Mr. Handman. What else have we got? The median age of the deceased in most countries is over 80 years old. Fuck me. Over 80. And about 1% of the deceased had no serious previous illnesses. Fucking. Again, is this worse than the Spanish flu or even seasonal influenza? Doesn't sound like it to me. And we didn't cl fucking lo lock all the barber shops and force every fucker to go to Walmart just because her granny popped her clogs when she got fucking swine flu, did we? Many media reports of young and healthy people dying from COVID-19 have proven to be false upon closer inspection. They either didn't die from it or they had serious preconditions such as undiagnosed leukemia. No shit. One of them really did get tw I said yesterday for a joke. Oh yeah, twatted by a double-decker bus. One of them really did get it by a fucking motorbike. <laughs> Countries without lockdowns, such as Japan, South Korea and Sweden, have not experienced a significantly more negative course of result of events. Apparently, invasive ventilation is counterproductive. There's fucking loads of stuff on here. And an open letter by Professor... Um, this is the guy that Peter Hitchens was referencing. Uh, Sukrit Bhakti. And he said, like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing, you ugly little poison fucking dwarf? Sorry, but I, I've really, really got a strong dislike for fucking Merkel. The little fat fucking midget basically ruined Europe <laughs> single-handedly. Invited 2.5 million third world fucking blokes. A significant minority of which is fucking was in ISIS. And there's no way of vetting them. And she fucking invited them all in unilaterally. And then demanded that every other country in Europe take them all in as well. Like... Are you taking the fucking piss, Angela? It's a good resource. There's fucking loads of stuff on there. It links through to what I was talking about yesterday. And my point, all I'm trying to say is, fucking calm down, you dippy bastards. Take a deep breath before you start sending me fucking hate mail. Because <coughs> I'm simply disagreeing with you. I'm not advocating loading all of the corona, uh, coronavirus victims onto a bus and then driving it off a fucking mountain. I'm simply saying, hmm, if it turns out that this fucking thing's not even that dangerous and we wipe out the economy and then there's going to be, I mean, that's proven fact, right? There's going to be tens of thousands of deaths, misery, despair, suicide, fucking you name it, as a result of locking everybody in their houses for three months. It's going to be increasing all the negative mental health markers. There's going to be poverty, despair, fucking misery. That's definitely going to happen. So... If it turns out that there's only a 1 in 500 chance of coronavirus killing you if you're under the age of fucking 90, maybe we killed more people by locking everybody in their house and fucking the economy up for the next 12 months. Nobody thought about that. So I'm simply saying, sit down and think. Fucking relax before you give yourself a fucking ulcer. Send me a fucking hate mail and then I'm forced to call you a twat on social media. Think about it, lads. Read the sources. I shall link it in the description. Cheers.